Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. We're gonna get straight into the video. So I put what you need on the right side. This is the hair that I used. So next what you're gonna do is you're going to open up the faux lock hair. There's a loop at the end of it. Yep, the loop. Then you're gonna slide your crochet needle through the base of the braid. Then you're gonna hook the loop part of the faux lock onto the crochet needle and slide it through. Open up the loop again and then slide your natural hair and the faux lock hair inside the loop and then slide it up and pull it through. But do it gently so you don't pull your hair. Next you're going to take the spring twist or your Marley twist hair and you're going to fluff it out. Then you're going to just place it on top of your natural hair and the faux lock hair and you're going to wrap it around the base like two times and then you're going to start overlapping that hair um, and going down each time you go until you cover your natural hair. Okay, so here it is up close and this is also regular speed. So once again, you're just gonna slide the crochet needle through, hook the faux lock hair and then slide it through. Open up that faux lock loop again and then pull your natural hair and the faux lock hair through the loop. Then you're gonna take your spring twist hair, place it on top of the faux lock hair and your natural hair. Wrap it around the base a couple times and then start wrapping it downward overlapping the last piece that you just wrapped around until you don't see any more of the natural hair and because of this hair being um, like textured and curly you don't have to use glue at the end you just keep wrapping and then once you get to the end you wrap it upward here's the final look if you guys recreate this look I'll make sure you tag me on Instagram or TikTok. bye